my name is Margot Lee Shetterly, and I am the author of the book Hidden Figures. How long did it take for you to write and then sell the book? Well, writing the book took all told six years, a little more than six years, or a little less than six years, actually. I started working on it in December 2010 and really did like three years of research before putting together a book proposal, finding an agent, and then finding a publisher. Um, so, so but, you know, I submitted the book um, to my, the final draft in July of this year, and uh, the book was published in September, which was just a couple of months before the movie came out. So then how did the movie come about? How, how was it discovered, and then who, who wanted to take it on? I know uh, Theodore uh, did the uh, screenplay uh -huh. adaptation. Yep. So what happened is my literary agent, uh, Mackenzie Brady Watson, she got the book proposal into the hands of this network of book scouts, and they somehow it landed on the desk of Donna Gelati, who was the producer of the movie. So Donna called me up, and this remember, this was only a book proposal at this time. This was like three years ago, so I hadn't finished the book. She saw the book proposal, and she said, we are going to make a movie of this story. Uh, and so I thought, well, geez, I, you know, I, I'm still writing the book. It's not even a book. You want to option my book proposal. I don't even, you know, I'm, you know I've never written a book before. Uh, but she believed in that story and, um, you know, really took a flyer on a first-time writer, author, and that, that's, that's you now the rest is history. Um, everything that she said on that first phone call has come true. I know that Hidden Figures is a, a true story that many did not know before the movie came out. What movie did you see at any time in your life that had the same type of impact that I'm sure many people will feel once they see the film? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a hard question. I mean, there's so many movies that are you know, amazing and inspirational. You could have put me on the spot here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, 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 you know, I'd have to like, okay. have to think, do, think about it. Um, but, you know, I think that, the, you know, in general, the thing about Hidden Figures is that it, it is, even though it's a work of nonfiction, it's totally a work of imagination, you know? And I think the thing about movies that you do remember, that do inspire you, is that they spark your imagination. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, people are responding so strongly, is they see something in these women that says to them, wow, I just expanded my imagination of what the world looks like and who I might be. And you would hear them speaking to you sometimes? I mean, in their own, from your research, did you hear their voices? I did. I really did. You know, it's so funny that you asked that question. I found myself talking to them and having conversations with them and dreaming about them and thinking about them. I looked at photos of them to know what they looked like at different parts in their life. I listened to their, their children talk about the gestures, like Dorothy Vaughn, when she got upset, she, you know, start putting her finger on the table like this and everybody knew to back off, you know, um, that she was, you know, a really, like a fearless kind of a woman. Um, you know, all of these different things um, about them until I really felt like they had come back to life and they were my friends, you know, that they were people that I really, and they really were, they became my companions. Of course, in the case of Katherine Johnson, you know, Katherine Johnson is 98 years old. She is very much still with us. And I had just an incredible uh, privilege to spend time interviewing her and getting to know her life firsthand. Excellent. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.